And heap means like a pile of something, a lot of something. It's a lot of times it's used to mean a lot. So you can say, uh, I have a, a lot of work or I have a heap of work. Heap is a big pile of something. So for example, here I've got, uh, where are my pictures? Whoops. Here is a heap of dirty dishes, a pile of dirty dishes, a lot of dirty dishes, but in this disorganized pile. And let's see, what do we have here? Oh, that's the dishes. Here's a heap of laundry, a lot of laundry to do, a pile, a pile of laundry to do, a heap of laundry. Okay, let's, let's look at it. Let's try to use it in a sentence. Let's see. Uh, where are we here? So they, uh, let's start with a problem. John could not go to the movies with his friends. Now let's make a why not question with this sentence. These are hard for people to do, making a why not question. Why not? Why couldn't? Why couldn't he? Why couldn't he go? Listen to the different ways that this could be said. Why couldn't he go? Why couldn't he go? Why couldn't he go? Why couldn't he? Could, just the N. Just the N is the not. Why couldn't he? Why couldn't he go? Or you could say the T. Why couldn't he? Why couldn't he go? Why couldn't he go? Why couldn't he go? Both are very common. Probably what you won't hear is, why couldn't he go? You probably won't hear that. You probably will hear, couldn't he? Or couldn't he? Why couldn't he go to the movies? Why couldn't he go to the movies? Why couldn't he go to the movies with his friends? With his, with his friends. Why couldn't he go to the movies with his friends? Why couldn't he go to the movies with his friends? Now let's do the answer, which is, uh, there was an enormous pile of dishes, like a mountain of dirty dishes to do. How would you say that using heap? There was a heap of dirty dishes to wash. There was a heap of dishes to wash. There was a heap. Let's get our picture back. Where are my dishes? There's, there was a heap of dishes to wash. He couldn't go to the movies with his friends. He couldn't go to the movies with his friends. He couldn't go to the movies with his friends because there was a, there was a, because there was a, because there was a heap of dishes to wash. Let's change some words. Let's say a heap of laundry. We'll say do. You do laundry. There was a heap of laundry to do. There was a heap of laundry. There was a, there was a, there was a heap of laundry to do. He couldn't go to the movies because there was a heap of laundry to do. He couldn't go to the movies because there, he couldn't go to the movies with his friends because there was a heap of laundry to do. There was a heap of laundry to do. Uh, let's change something. Let's say now instead of a heap of laundry, let's say a heap of homework to finish. That means a lot of homework, a big pile of homework to finish. There was a, there was a, there was a heap of homework. There was a heap of homework to finish. He couldn't he couldn't go to the movie with he couldn't go to the movies with his friends because there was a heap of homework to finish. He had a he had a he had a heap of he had a heap of <laughs> he had a heap of homework to finish. That's how it probably would sound in spoken English. He had a heap of homework. He had a heap of he had a heap of he had a heap of homework to finish. He couldn't go to the movies with his friends because he had a heap of homework to finish. <laughs> okay, let's try another example. Here's another situation. They offered Mary some dessert, but she could not eat it. She could not eat the dessert. Let's make a why not question with that sentence. Why not? Why couldn't? Why couldn't she? Why couldn't she eat? Why couldn't she eat? Why couldn't she eat the dessert? Why couldn't she eat the dessert? Why couldn't she eat it? Eat it? Eat it? Eat it? 
Why couldn't she eat it? Why couldn't she eat it? Why couldn't... Well, let's, let's try that. This is really complicated. She... Why couldn't she eat it? Couldn't she? Couldn't she? Couldn't she? Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Couldn't she eat it? Why couldn't she eat it? Why couldn't she eat it? They offered Mary some dessert, uh, but she couldn't eat it. Why couldn't she eat it? Why couldn't she eat it? Here's the answer. Because she just ate a big pile of mashed potatoes. We use heap a lot with food. She ate a big pile of mashed potatoes. I love mashed potatoes. She ate a heap. She ate a heap of. She ate a heap of. She ate a heap of mashed potatoes. She couldn't eat the dessert. She couldn't eat it because she ate a heap of. She just ate a heap of mashed potatoes. She just ate a heap of mashed potatoes. She couldn't eat it because she just ate a heap of mashed potatoes. Let's let's try another food that could be in a big pile. Ice cream. I love ice cream too. <laughs> she couldn't eat dessert because she just ate a heap of ice cream. Well, that is dessert, isn't it? She couldn't she couldn't eat dessert because she just ate a heap of ice cream. She just ate a heap of. She just ate a heap of ice cream. She couldn't eat dessert because she just ate a heap of ice cream. Let's try uh, some other food. A heap of berries. Strawberries, blueberries, raspberries. She ate a heap of berries. She just ate a heap of. She just ate a heap of. She just ate a heap of berries. She couldn't eat dessert because she just ate a heap of berries. Okay. Uh, we've got two more, two more to do, and then we're finished for today. 